You've spent your entire RPG budget creating the perfect tabletop campaign, but you're still lacking a few essential trappings to create that all-too-needed ambiance. So what can you do? The answer, DIY RPG accessories. We're going to take a look at some impressively inventive ideas, so I hope you're ready to feed your need for RPG. Uh -huh. Welcome everyone, my name is Marcus and this is Poor Man's RPG, a channel dedicated to bringing you the best of RPG entertainment at little or no cost to you. So let's get this started and see what the Teslas and Einsteins of DIY can show us. Unlike the dude that's role playing my life, whose do-it-yourself skills seem to always get me further into debt. As you're leaving the house for your usual Saturday lunch of fast food and beer, oh that is some sweet nectar sir. Mm. You see this taped to your keys hanging on the key ring. Oh, what have we here? Little love note for yours truly. Dear, I'm going to assume you're leaving to get your alcohol. She knows me so well. <laughs> and you forgot about the furniture purchases you promised you would do for me this weekend. Oh, dang. Is that today? So here is a list of stores, furniture names with pictures, and prices so you know exactly what you need to get. Are these the prices? She better be listing his grand total in pesos or I swear. Blah, blah, blah. Stay at parents this weekend with kids. Blah, blah, blah. Needs to be done before we get back. Blah, blah, blah. Does she really think I'm gonna spend this much money on furniture? Roll an intelligence check for me, please. Fine. 13. Uh, plus two on my intelligence bonus, so that's 15. Okay, you pass. You recall her saying that her current furniture was handed down to her by her parents, but it needs to be replaced because it's old and it lacks feng shui. Feng shui? Sir, where I'm from, that is a dirty word. What I think she meant to say was cheap and practical. No, your successful intelligence check makes you pretty sure she meant what she said. Nope. I'm going to show her how she should be shopping for furniture. I don't need to go to all these places. I can go to Ikea and get it all for a quarter of the cost. Um... Your years of marriage set off your bad husband idea gut instinct. You should probably reconsider. No, that's just gas from last night's burrito. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump online and I'm going to order all this stuff. Of course, I get the cheapest stuff because the more money I save, the happier she's going to be. She's going to be so happy. <laughs> Told myself I wouldn't cry. Okay, let's see. You pick four of the least expensive beds, a dining room table, four shelves, four dressers, and a couch. Uh, now you have two options for delivery. Uh, you want same day or next day? Which one's cheaper? Next day, by about 10 bucks. Do that then. I am a money-saving machine. Do you want to pay for them to assemble it for you? What are you talking about? Are you nuts? I am a man. I will put it together. Just like that book from there that Aunt Margaret bought from me. Remember? What book? Oh, yeah, you're talking about that board game of Scrabble, aren't you? Duh. Whatever the book was called, I still put it together in under three hours. Now, it didn't make much sense and it was more like a short story, but it doesn't matter. I still did it. Yes, you did. Oh, and I have them take away all the old furniture. Man, am I smart. Okay, it has been added to the order and now it has been paid for. Uh, it will be delivered tomorrow between 9 and 12 p.m. Perfect, 
Now what I deserve for all this is a cooler of ice cold beers and a big ol' nap. You sign the acceptance agreement screen and the delivery drivers leave. All the old furniture has been taken away and you have a massive pile of boxed Swedish furniture sitting in your living room. I start unpacking those suckers and putting them together. Okay, you open the first box and grab the instruction manual. Instruction manual? You mean wuss pamphlet. In case you didn't get the memo, I am a man's man. I will not take the manufacturer's opinion on how I put together my own furniture. All right then, uh, go ahead and roll to see if you manage to build them correctly, please. I should get a plus tan for manliness for this. Okay, in a fit of manliness, you open up all the boxes at once and you create a bonfire of instruction manuals in the backyard, cackling like a madman. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You then start trying to assemble the furniture, but you've managed to mix all the parts together in one pile and have no idea what goes where. But of course, that doesn't stop you, does it? You use nails when you can't find the proper screw and you also cut out bigger notches in the pieces which don't fit together properly. When all else fails, you use copious amounts of Gorilla Glue and duct tape. I thought one was supposed to be a bad thing. This is awesome. You still have about half the furniture left to assemble by the time your wife gets home around 9 p.m. with the kids. I greet her with a hug and a kiss and I show her all the magnificent work I have done. Her eyes go wide as she surveys your handiwork. The last thing you see before everything goes black is her fist balling up at her side, then shooting towards your nose as she releases a bellowing scream of rage. Son of a Dealing with the initiative of your encounters can get cumbersome, but check out these brilliant trackers. All you need are some clothespins and some markers. If you want to get fancy, then you can use these. A foldable cutout with a pick of the monster for your players and the beast stats on your side for your viewing pleasure. Amazing. Speaking of cutouts, how about some double-sided paper minis sporting easily recognizable fronts and backs so that Rogue knows where to earn those extra backstab dice, imagination-inspiring artwork, and nice attention to scale. These things only need a printer and some scissors to get your monster mash on. But what about props? Some sticks from the backyard, a couple of well-placed coffee filters, and voila. Instant dwelling for your trolls. Or make some maps. Some clever use of coffee and heat from a printed or a hand-drawn map will give your players some real immersion. Or, if you want to get super impressive, set up a projector over a dry erase friendly screen to make the magic happen. Need to swig a healing potion in style? Don't just grab some random dice and roll. Grab some bottles, toss in those colorful die, and make a show of it. And lastly, if you have any ceramic skills, make some Mimic mugs. These are so incredible. I put links to all of these in the comments below, so go and check them out. All of this inventiveness has reminded me of how creative we've become since the dawn of video games, especially in how we deal with losing at them. You know, mashing the buttons harder doesn't actually make you punch harder, correct? Yep, well, apparently it does on your controller because it's a piece of crap. Ah! Your controller's broken, dude. It's the only reason you're winning. Sure it is. It's a controller, not you, right? Who set this configuration like this? It's the wrong configuration. I'm gonna change it real quick. What? This is stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> really? <laughs> now what? Real mature, dude. <laughs> Come on. 
or not. God, <laughs> son of a piece of shit. Oh, Burke. God. I'm done. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. So, what have you made that's awesome for your RPG campaigns? Let me know down in the comments below. I put out new videos every week on tabletop RPGs, books, video games, and more. So if you like that kind of thing, destroy that like button and subscribe. Also, remember you don't have to have a ton of cash to enjoy RPGs. All you need are your friends, your family, and a sense of adventure. Take it easy.